next. And our team coverage continues with Fox Source Brandon Todd at South Hills High School in Fort Worth, where football practice is going late. Yeah, exactly, Clarice. Uh, the South Hills High School football team about to wrap up their practice here back behind me. And, you know, football teams tend to wait until the sun goes down to try and ramp things up. But the hottest part of the day, at least for AC repairmen, is when they're at their busiest. I'm checking the freon pressures in the in the system. This is the time of year that Willie Morris is in high demand. You know, right now, most of your service technicians are going from sun up to sun down. He got Jason Riggins' cool air flowing again after their AC went out last night, and that just makes life easier. So I got a two-year-old in the house, and I got my teenagers in the house. So they're the first ones that are like, you know, we got it. We got to get this this place cooled down. It's just thank you, thank you. When he got here, it was 85 degrees, and it's already cooling down. It's already 80 degrees. <laughs> The heat doesn't end football practice for the South Hills High Scorpions. It just moves it inside. We'll kind of shotgun waterfall start, get the kids into their unit meetings, weight room meetings, and then hopefully by the time we've ceased with that, the heat index has come down. District policy prevents them from practicing outside if the heat index is 105 or higher. Today's high was 103 with a heat index that at one point was 109. Typically, they don't hit the field until closer to dusk. In this case, outside practice began just after 6. There's water at every station. There's water breaks built into the practice as well. All right, back out live. The coaches were telling me that the younger players are the ones that they watch the closest, Clarice. They said that uh, the older players have a lot more conditioning and they've been uh, practicing throughout the summer uh, so that they're a little more used to the heat than, say, the freshman players. He said as long as they stay hydrated, they're good to go. Yeah, Clarice. I need to keep everybody safe on that field. Brandon, thank you.